Hey brother, welcome to day 32 of 40 Days of Light. I have a piercing question to ask of you, and I'm asking it of myself. Have you settled? Are you playing small? Have you let the edges get rounded off? Are you in a comfort zone? Have you let your shoulders start to slouch? Have you given up on certain things? You might have made agreements and you might say, well, you know, I've learned that I'm really not very expressive. I'm not very competent in certain things. I'm not adventurous or creative or spiritual or courageous. I've pretty much concluded what I'm good at, and where I fit, and what I'll risk, and I'm comfortable in my own space. Well, you know, a man who became one of the greatest leaders in history was once in that place. His name was Moses. He'd spent 40 years herding sheep for his father-in-law in Midian after he'd murdered an Egyptian. He ran and he found a hiding place that became very comfortable to him. But he'd learned some TLC from the Lord. He learned some truth, some loyalty, and that became a whole new character. Moses had spent literally a whole career in a comfort zone. And then God came and visited him at the burning bush. And you remember what happened there. The Lord spoke to him and awakened him to a whole new assignment. The Lord said, I have surely seen the affliction of my people who are in Egypt and have heard their cry because of their taskmasters. I know their sufferings and I have come down to deliver them out of the hand of the Egyptians and to bring them up out of that land to a good land, a broad land, a land flowing with milk and honey. And I'm sure Moses was thrilled when he heard that. He's thinking, you go, God. You go. I'm, I've been waiting for that. I've been crying for that. I've been praying for that. You go. But then God said, come, I will send you to Pharaoh that you may bring my people, the children of Israel, out of Egypt. And it's then that Moses began to play small. He tried to keep his small, comfortable place. He said, well, who am I? What shall I say? They won't believe me. I'm not eloquent. Send someone else. And at every place, the Lord answered him with himself. He said, I will be with you, Moses. Tell them, I am Yahweh, my name. Tell them that I have sent you and you have all authority. How will they believe you? Well, let me give you some signs. Throw down your staff and it'll become a snake and pick it back up and it becomes a staff again. Put your hand in your garment. It becomes leprous and pull it out and it's whole again. Moses, I made your mouth. I can tell you what to say, and I'm going to send a brother with you. His name is Aaron. One of the issues we do in manhood is we we find places that are safe for us. We we play small ball. We make agreements about what we can do and what we can't, and we tend to hide and pose in that comfortable place. But mature manhood, as described in the book of Ephesians, says that we are to grow until our very last breath until we achieve mature manhood. And that's an elusive goal. In fact, it's a never-ending goal because the, the, tr the goal we want to attain is measured by the stature of Christ. When we attain his stature, that's when we'll see him as he is. But until then, we're to keep growing, keep stretching. God is still calling. So I just want to challenge you today. Have you settled? Have you decided, well, I'm, I'm not all these things. I'm Lord, you can't use me in that. Are you refusing basically because you've decided who you are, but God is telling you something different? I want you to look around you today. Is God calling you to something? Maybe to speak to the city council or write the school board or welcome a new neighbor or walk across the street and be a witness to someone. Or God is calling you to learn the Bible and a, a biblical worldview so that you can speak to issues of our culture with intelligence and grace. God is still calling you, brother. Are you having a burning bush moment? Are you listening to what God has to say because he will go with you? God bless you.